Hey, what's going on, you guys? Welcome to the video for Dragon Ball Sparking Zero. My name is Vintage SGN. In this Sparking Zero guide video, I'm going to give you eight essential tips for fighting Great Ape Vegeta. I'm using the PS5 controller set to standard controls. Number one, dodging the mouth beam. If you are away from Vegeta, wait until you can see the beam come out of its mouth and press R1 or guard. At closer range, you'll have to predict rather than react and press the button as soon as Vegeta comes out of animation. His first attack is usually the mouth beam and it's in perfect range to dodge as soon as you see it come out of his mouth. Number two, reflecting or blocking his mouth beam requires you to have at least two skill counts. That's the number below Goku's icon at the top left. To reflect the breath weapon attack, as soon as you see Vegeta come out of animation, press and hold circle or the perception button and the beam will be deflected. Number three, to deal with Great Ape Vegeta's melee attacks, use either guard or perception depending on the attack. When he is standing and doing wild swings, use guard to either block them or get a perfectly timed vanish. Number four, when he rushes in with that shoulder charge, hold circle or the perception to block the attack and knock him back and follow up with a few attacks of your own. You can also guard this attack if timed properly with R1. Number five, to deal great damage to Great Ape Vegeta, you'll have to win a beam clash. This is more predictive than reactive in my opinion because every time that I've tried to react to his breath weapon with a Kamehameha, it always fails. So instead, I look for his tail. Most of the time, but not always, he'll go for the breath weapon attack directly after charging and it seems like he only needs two barbs to do his beam attack. There is a sound cue for his breath attacks, but there is not enough time to execute a Kamehameha after you hear it. You'll need to have energy ready to go and your fingers on the buttons. Now, after writing all of that, I went back in and fought with Great Ape Vegeta for another 30 to 40 minutes to see if there was a way to predict his breath beam any better, and I cannot. You just have to be very lucky on the timing. Number six, you can deal damage to Great Ape Vegeta by using Perfect Smash to get behind him and send him flying forward, and you can follow it up by quickly charging a Kamehameha and blasting him on his way down. It doesn't always work because sometimes he recovers quickly, but even if he does recover, he will still take chip damage from the blast. Number seven, another way to deal damage to Vegeta is to just blast him with fully charged Kamehamehas from a distance. He will more than likely block them, but he will take a chunk of damage. However, there were runs of this fight where I was able to spam him with repeated Kamehamehas unguarded. And number eight, when Vegeta goes for his Gallic gun, you can use guard to evade it by pressing the guard button the exact second the Great Ape animation is finished. All right, guys, that's going to be it for this video. I hope it was able to help you. If it was, do not leave without leaving a like. My name is Vinicius Skin. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you next time. Peace out. Focus, tease the spirit bomb.